and we are back on Nova SMP. After a short run, I literally just, just finished building a car crusher. And yeah, this is us. Man, I don't care. Oh yeah, oh, she got some weed as well. That's right, okay. Yeah, so, so the last time we actually had to, you can make flour. Oh, yeah, that's what you need for, which we call it. Okay, but yeah, this is what we've really done so far. If you guys didn't watch the last episode, and announced me all, don't watch our, don't watch the episodes to, to, the, to the full extent, we eventually made it so that we can have a little bridge over there to cross here. For those of those who don't have like a flying ring or like are basically allergic to water, just walk over here, and there you go. There's our little wheat farm and, a, and our new cow crusher. Crusher, who according to Waddles will basically provide us like, with enough food to last us for a while. And we've got a villager breeder. Working sort of well. Right now they can't they're not doing anything because they can't sleep. But yeah. Alright. So this so that's what happened so far. Oh yeah, look how clean this feels actually, yeah. Okay, I just, I just gotta make a bridge on the other side as well. Look at us. I was thinking spruce. Now I was thinking spruce wood. You know, cause that's like a tiger village and all that. Okay, luckily there's a whole forest of spruce wood over there, so we can just uh, chop down and regrow. Now I wonder if this trick also works with the like, overlooks for rubber logs, because I just found out that there's a trick like if you mine trees directly from from top to bottom, they depend on the leaves explodes. I think that's it. I want to see that's true. Okay, looks like it only works for, for, for rubber trees at the moment. Not for other trees, okay. Oh, oh look at that! That tree, that tree just doesn't like, regrew in front of my face. Alright. That's, that, that's, that, that's what I call fast, fast, fast reforestation. Okay, yeah, wow. Yeah, that just shows a group in my face, okay. Woohoo, okay, easy now. Yeah, okay, we got three stacks and then some wood, alright. If that ain't enough, we could always come back here and rechop them. I'm just gonna give these, these trees a chance, chance to regrow. Yeah, like these trees, I, I chopped these trees down. <laughs> Look at that. Look how fast they regrow. Talk about progress, alright. Okay, so here's here's what I'm thinking. Because there's already a path here, I guess if we just build along this this air right here. I just gotta shop for the eels though. Their anger is unhinged from what I've heard. Excuse me. Please. Gotcha. Okay, you know what? Why don't I just, why don't I just you want to solve the eel problem? Kill all the eels inside. That'll help you some. Oh, is this tree in the way? I think the tree. Yeah, this tree is in the way. Man, we we can work around it actually. It's fine. Look at all this eel meat we're collecting actually. Can we even eat this stuff? I think so. Yeah. All right. Okay, so in between these logs and those logs, it's 49 blocks. Okay. But make the division, take one, and there you go. So we make sections of nine, that's 45. And in between each one, we have like four pillars of four pillars. Alright. That should work, okay. We got the baseline already. And there we go, just so that we have a little pier. Okay, so this is like, like the, the base formation of it. It's as if the village, it's as if the village wanted to come over here, like, yeah, like, it's like, I guess it's like a little precautionary, like, if the villagers want to come over here, like, they could just walk over here, I guess, yeah. I'm not gonna strip, I'm gonna strip these logs, because I just think, it looks, it looks just like for the three springs, and it's gonna look better, like, here. Let me actually do a demonstration real quick, where's my crafting table? Yeah, it does look, yeah, it does look better without, without the strip ones. Yeah, cause yeah, cause if I strip the log, yeah, it'd just be like very bright and it's just okay, yeah, just look better that way. Okay.
like that. We finally have a bridge. Let's go. All right. Clean, easy, and a bit decorative as well. And much more bigger than the other one. Yeah. Look at that. Easy access. And let's add a bit of uh, light area because I noticed this area gets a little dark sometimes. So yeah. Yeah. So now anyone who uh, so now anyone who tries to enter or or uh, someone just happened. But now it's basically like. I don't even, I don't no longer have to use a flying ring to wait, like I can just drop down with this ring and I can just walk right through. Yep. Oh, look how much faster it is actually, yeah. And for this one I did I did change this bridge up a bit. I, I made it so that it seems like a little it seems like a little higher up this area. It says like a little bit of curvature. It's a minor change, so what's that make a look for? And look and look at our wheat farm. It's grown so much. It has so much fun to feed to feed the cows. I just I just bred one up so there's babies in there. But yeah, once I once I finally get this farm up and running, this we should have cows for days and whatnot. I did collect some eel meat as well. I did I collect the eel meat, eel meat as well. So I could probably go look at that. But for now I'm just gonna use bread. It looks like yeah, it looks like they're, they're having some, they're not good times over there. All right. Still not reading it, but yeah. Also, I, I read. Also, I read that I think there has to be more space over here for the beds to go on than anywhere else. So I'm gonna have to make make this little make the resting area a bit bigger than it, than what it has to be. So that's what I got going. All right. Yeah, this looks so. Yeah, this looks. This actually looks cleaner now, and nothing should be able to spawn here because I use because I use I use like like down like bottom slabs. So mom shouldn't be able to spawn on this one. That's pretty stupid. I got some light here. So it's all good. Yeah, I still don't know about this side. Probably is bored to change my mind. Who knows I'm bored and wants to change their mind? That is strange. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, there we go, yeah. No rings, no problem. Just walk on this bridge and you'll be and you'll be on my on my own, uh, little private island. Yeah, this actually this actually feels yeah, it actually feels more natural actually. But some builder farms have to read them, then I can just lead the villagers over there, over there, that area, or that area, whichever people are comfortable with. And then we'll go to Okay. So I see the arm farm should probably go like around there, like I had a play like on top of those trees actually, yeah. That area I can leave like open for other things as well, like eh, I'll get to it when I get to it. I guess I can I guess I can farm sugarcane at some point. That's for paper fireworks. That's if I get an elytra though. But I also wanna like do like a little village trading hall. And and that has to be done as soon as possible because as of the as of the new update, they're actually it'll be much harder to to get to get built, to get like certain enchantments on the village because because base because how it goes now is that so with, with every village with every village, like if if every native villager, like wherever they came, wherever they come from, they have specific enchantments now. So you actually have to go to. So chances are you might have to travel to other villages, find those kinds of villagers, bring them over to your base area, and then you can get the enchantments, which is gonna suck actually. That is gonna be fun. But on the plus side, wanting traders, wanting traders have better trades, and they be able to buy basic stuff, not just emeralds. I also want an electric furnace area, like one with like infinite. From like infinite power and whatnot, because what? Because what I saw, because what I heard from from Focus, there is a way to, to create like an infinite energy source and whatnot. To do like a battery source, it's like solar power, and then like a little battery thing, charged by solar power, and then that's the thing. All right. Oh, you know what I need? A a, a wool farm or a full warm. The full string. <laughs> uh, the full full warm. All right. Yeah, so basically a wool farm somewhere around here. Like a little sea medium. Also like a Yeah. Melons, pumpkins, uh, there's so much to farm actually, yeah. I wanna fill this area up with as much farms as possible. Not, not that I, not that I'm looking at it, yeah. As much as possible. Iron farms, pumpkin farms, melon farms. It's gonna be a whole lot of scenarios. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to think about what, what I want so that I can actually execute it and then make a video about it. So yeah, that is going that's going to be it. I'm actually going to be it. I finally built two bridges. I might have to build bridge number three and number four sometime soon. 
so yeah thank you guys so much for watching let me know guys think in the comments section below be sure to check out my other stuff in the meantime and if you made it to the end of the video congratulations you're a superstar and you actually, and actually care, care about what i have to say <laughs> all right i'll see you guys in the next video take care bye for now